There is a distinct difference between the domesticated bunnies that you know so well and the wild rabbits that hop through your yard leaving their little pebble feces everywhere. These wild rabbits will make a nest for their young in an area where there is some longer grass. This is done as a way to protect the young. Although it may seem like it, the mother has not abandoned her young bunnies. She will only visit them once in the morning and also once at night. This is done for nursing. Wild versus domesticated. This is likely a given and easily understood. Your domesticated rabbit is not going to have a nest out in the yard that you need to be watching for as you mow the grass in your yard. The wild rabbit is actually very self-sufficient and independent of your domesticated bunny. The wild rabbits know how to make a nest when they are ready to have a litter and they also know how to track a sufficient amount of food for themselves. This may not be a complete choice of their own, however, your domesticated bunny will have no choice other than to rely on the loving human to bring them food every day. The human is also going to clean the hutch so that the rabbit always has a clean place. When it comes to babies, your domesticated rabbit will have her litter somewhere in the hutch that has been provided for her living. Your yard. Be sure to be mindful of where you are riding your lawn mower when cutting grass. This may not seem like much more than a hole to you, it could, however, be home to a batch of kits. These kits will be sleeping and likely waiting for their mother to return to feed them. If you happen to find a nest of bunnies, for safety's sake, flip an empty laundry basket over the top of the nest. Then place a heavier stone or rock on top of the basket. Just be sure to remove the basket at night so that the mother can show up and feed those babies. The nest. It is a given that the mother rabbit is going to be responsible for constructing a nest for when the time comes to give birth. The majority of the rabbit mothers are going to design a somewhat shallow basin type nest. The female rabbit is not going to use just twigs and grass to construct the nest for her babies. She is going to use fur that she has pulled out of her own coat, then she will also use some grass and other foliage to finish the construction. Nest Location As strange as it is, the mother rabbit will make the nest in an open and conspicuous spot. The location will have a brush or other long grass or foliage growing very near it. She may choose a spot under a bunch of brush that has been removed from down trees, the nest may also be in strips of a field or the center of your yard. Nest Timeline When the baby rabbits are born, they are nursed for roughly 5 minutes total a day. The baby rabbit is born with no hearing and no eyesight. At this point, they are completely reliant on their mother. She will be there to feed as it is needed. Her lack of presence around the nest is done to multiple reasons. The main one is to protect the baby bunnies from the predators that always seem to be around. Therefore, the mother will only return to the nest twice a day, at dawn and at dusk for the feedings. The remainder of the time she is out looking for food, or safely hiding a short distance away and ready to hop in and protect her little ones if a predator comes close. The second reason is more as if the mother is rushing the babies to learn to deal with life on their own. When they are born, they are wholly reliant on their mother. The baby bunnies are unable to see or hear anything. By the time they are three weeks old, they are ready to leave the nest and begin the starting point of their lives. They will begin to search for their own food. They will begin to learn the warning sounds and feels of a predator approaching which means that they will learn to run and hide. The two most important survival skills that the rabbit has are the ability to locate its own food and also to run and hide from any and all predators. Reuse of the nest. Most scientists and researchers believe that a rabbit will reuse the same nest each year, at least for a few years. Of course, it depends on how well protected the babies are if the nest is in a good location and not seen easily. The mother rabbit has a lot to consider before settling on a nest location. She is not going to build one that is really close to where a predator resides or seems to be at for quite a bit of time. She wants an area that is out of the way, yet not too far. This is believed to be due to the thought that if she is not at the nest, predators will not realize the nest is there. However, she doesn't want it to be too far of a distance away from where there is woods, a grove of trees, or any other protection. All alone. As mentioned, the baby rabbits are left alone for the majority of the time in the nest. This is not because the mother rabbit does not care, it is because she does care. The thought process is something that resembles the fact that if a predator sees the mother rabbit at the nest, that predator is going to know there are little ones in the nest. This means that the mother rabbit does not sit on the nest the entire day and night. It appears that she has abandoned her babies, yet, in reality, it is her way of protecting them. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.